Hello and welcome to Origin's 22-minute webinar, Introducing 2019 Checkmate Programming. Today, your hosts are David Schlitt, in charge of business development, and myself, Cecil DeLine, lead AE and trainer. Checkmate is a complete programming system that offers flexibility, whether a beginner or experienced programmer. Regardless of the types of parts that you manufacture, be it sheet metal, castings, or machine parts. Checkmate is fully integrated with SolidWorks, with a full selection of ribbons and toolbars containing commands for all aspects of CMM metrology, but our focus today is CMM programming. As I said, there's a full selection of ribbons for easy access to commands, such as part setup, measuring features, probe management, constructions, and GD&T tolerancing. Checkmate can even import programs from PCDemus, Calypso, QIF, and more. We will explore more of the elements of this interface as we go along. For the part I have on the screen here, I have already performed some basic setup, such as part orientation on the CMM and importing a list of common probe angles that we use. You can see that this part has MBD annotations in it, and we will be discussing that shortly. For now, I'm going to hide these MBD annotations to make it easier for you to see what's going on. We're going to start with demonstrating some of the classical programming strategies. So we're going to start with a simple 3-2-1 alignment. Let's start with measuring a plane. As we generate feature measurements, not only can you see them graphically on the part, but they're also listed on the right in our programming browser. Next, we'll measure a line on the side of the part. And finally, a surface measurement on the back face. Now that we have measured the features that will be our datums, we want to tell Checkmate that these features are going to be our datums for this manual alignment. On the Construct ribbon, you will find commands on the left to construct features from measured features. We want the coordinate system commands on the right side of the ribbon, starting with assigning datum labels to our measurements. We select the three features and then enter the datum names for them. MA for Manual A on the plane, MB for the line, and MC for the point. Now that we have our datums defined, we can make a coordinate system from them. Back on the Construct ribbon, we have many types of coordinate system commands. A standard master coordinate system, local coordinate systems, and even translating coordinate systems to a single point and so much more. But right now, we're going to create a master coordinate system. From the three datums that we've defined, and now our coordinate system is finished. We just need to change the yellow P's beside each measurement, which stand for program or auto mode, to green M's, setting them as manual measurements. As I mentioned earlier, Checkmate's programming browser allows the user to organize measurements into what we call segments, which is just an organizing of features into folders. I'm going to open another folder or segment to continue some classical programming. Notice when I open a new segment, the old segment becomes hidden. This helps keep everything nice and clean without looking too busy on the screen. I'm just going to measure a few circles, a few points, and a few planes. Again, notice that as we measure features, they get added to the programming browser segment.
There, that's good enough. Checkmate has some programming automation tools which help us to quickly bring a list of feature measurements into a finished program state. These operations can be used whether using the classical programming tools like I just showed you or using the automated programming tools which I will show you in a few moments. First up, Checkmate will automatically create the coordinate system if the datums have been defined. Sorting for dependencies will reorganize the segment based on logistics. For example, if a feature is referenced back to specific datums, then those datum features must be measured first. Accessibility analysis determines which probe positions from my current list are the best to use for each feature. Let's go ahead and do it. Optimize probe path will group measurements together that use the same probe positions. This will shorten runtime of the program at the CMM, minimizing the amount of time spent rotating the probe. Notice the order of the features change in the programming browser after I execute this command. Then we go ahead and add probe moves and rotations based on the accessibility analysis that we've already performed. And finally, collision detection, which looks for and fixes any areas where the probe breaks through the CAD geometry. Let's simulate this program segment and admire our handiwork. Let's move on towards a more automated strategy using one of Checkmate's automation tools called Measure All. But first, let's open a fresh new segment and let's collapse the other two. We are going to utilize the MBD in this file also, so I need to go to the programming defaults to tell Checkmate to pay attention to any MBD. Selecting the Measure All command brings up a pop-up box with a few options that we can set. At the top, we specify from which directions we will allow the probe to approach from. You can see from the CAD triplet at the bottom left that plus Y is going up. So the negative Y side is underneath or on the CMM table, and we don't want the probe to approach from that side. So we've turned off the negative Y box. Next, we check off the feature types that we want Checkmate to process. To the right of that, we have some settings to control how deep into the part we want to look for these particular features. We can also control what diameters the Checkmate will create measurements for. In our case, I put a maximum of 50 millimeters because we don't want that 60 millimeter pedestal being measured. At the bottom, we have all of the programming automation commands selected so that we will end up generating a complete program. Now we hit the load button and let her go. You can see Checkmate generating the measurements and adding them to the programming browser. Now it's performing accessibility analysis. Optimizing the measurements. Probe moves and probe rotations have been added. And finally, checking for and fixing any collisions. This program is a bit of a hybrid, as you'll notice that the features with German names are the features that had MBD tolerancing. 
and the features that do not have German names are the features that had no MBD and used the tolerances from the programming defaults. Earlier, we did a simulation of the entire segment. We can also just highlight a few measurements in the programming browser and just simulate those. Summarizing, the measure all command measures all chosen feature types on the part, utilizing the PMI tolerancing information for those features with MBD and the user-defined tolerance settings from the programming defaults for those features without MBD. Now Checkmate has other automation tools like AutoMBD, which only generates features that have MBD annotations. Yet another automation tool is QIF to segment. Checkmate will read in a quality information framework file and will generate a complete program from it. Whether using classical or automated programming tools, we can also use Checkmate's context-based point-and-click programming tool called AutoMesh down at the bottom of the programming browser. Let me open another segment here so we can get a good look at this faster way of programming specific features or patterns. We can measure features just by point and click without executing specific commands. For example, with the auto mesh turned on, I can just go pick on some of the CAD geometry, some of the circles, and it'll create some circle measurements. If I click on the planes, it'll create plane measurements. I'm just going to keep on picking the CAD and throw some measurements on the top of the part. The auto points function allows us to generate profile measurement patterns quickly, like outside boundaries. We can place profile measurements just along one edge. We can create cross-section profiles. We can even generate profile points right down the middle of a face. The auto mesh function can be a powerful programming aid, and once you have these features generated, you can still apply the programming automation tools to generate a functional program. Accessibility analysis, optimizing the probe path, adding probe moves and rotations, and finally some collision detection. Ah, a collision-free program. Let's go ahead and do a simulation. As I do a simulation of that group of profiles around the outside edge on the top, notice that Checkmate defaults to a peck point mode. But if you have a scanning head, you can easily edit any measurement to a scanned measurement. You can see that measurement at the bottom of the programming browser is now marked with a magenta S box, letting us know that this is now a scanned feature. And if we simulate it again, you can see that the probe is scanning in constant contact with the part. Once our segments are finished, 
Then we go to the Output Program screen to generate some program code for the CMM. At the top, we can select which segments created that we wish to use and which order to use them in. Then, we just select the CMM that we're outputting to. Although we have native output for some of the older CMMs, using the DEMAS spec is now more of the standard. But not all CMMs follow the DEMAS spec to the book, so Origin has developed character sets for each modern CMM to handle the DEMAS set that they support. Checkmate's offline programming of prismatic or sheet metal parts provides tools for users from novice to expert level to increase programming efficiency, maximizing machine throughput while driving the digital thread through the quality areas of the model-based enterprise. We have a few minutes left, so we're going to unmute the lines and have a question and answer period for those of you who'd like to stick around. But David and I would like to thank all of you for joining our webinar today, introducing 2019 Checkmate Programming.